Hello and welcome to the Balak Guide by Chili Papa. Balak is a ranged DPS dealing physical damage with his auto attacks and physical damage with his abilities. His Q ability passively increases his range. I usually pick it up first in the lane phase because as you can see it allows me to harass Icor at the melee creep line without aggroing the caster creeps who would instantly damage me by casting projectiles. You will lose this range advantage if you use the Q until the cooldown is up. When activated, the target will be visible for 5 seconds, meaning they cannot stealth, run into the brush, or the fog of war, and you will deal between 5 and 25% extra auto attack damage to them. This is affected by his, the extra damage from his E ability. The W ability throws a stick of dynamite at a ground target, causing damage and a 1 second stun. This is usually my second pick during the lane phase to secure those kills. Balak's E ability adds between 10 and 50 extra attack damage to your auto attacks as well as splashing out the damage to the tune of 50% to nearby enemies. Nope, it is affected by his Q. And his R ability is a ranged execute dealing between 3 and 500% of his attack damage in a long range. But it's not affected by his Q active or his E ability. So, before the end game, there's this thing called the laning phase, and you're not doing tons of damage yet, so who do you lane with? Uh, I'd recommend a support tank. Here we see Iceland. Not only can she shield me, but she can also heal me and take a hit or two. Ikor is another of my favorites, because while being extremely tanky, he can also heal you and put up a field that makes you invisible when people are trying to kill you, which you probably want to avoid. See, he just tanked an entire minion wave. And I got a kill and Lazarus ran away. Now he's going to go hide in the bush and Lazarus is going to come back and Icor is going to tank another minion wave and Lazarus. But here's the important part. He gets out alive too. And that's kind of important. Lazarus is an, actually a pretty good laying partner as well because he can give you a 10% damage buff which gets you on the path to tons of damage. So at some point you're going to be doing a ton of damage. Uh, what about laning with someone else who also does a ton of damage? Here we see Nysus and she definitely fits that bill. And uh, that Balak, well he hung around too long and he's going to have a very bad day. Another good laning partner is Tatiana because she has a 1.5 second stun. And I have a 1 second stun so you can hold down people for quite a long time while you beat on them. I mentioned she could give you a magic shield. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So here we see uh, that Tatiana harassing. I'm going to clear out this minion wife so it stops shooting her in the back. And then we're going to go up and uh, say, let's push middle. Right? And that enemy Tatiana is going to be her. Right? Nope. And kill secured. So 1v1, 2v1, check. What about team fights? How do you survive? Well, here's how you survive. Stand behind your team. So, here I got behind my team. I'm kind of looking at how it develops. And they've engaged, and so I'm going to start doing my damage. One, two, and Zai comes back in. Sorry, Psycho Zen, I'm killing as fast as I can. Just not fast enough. Now, in a different team fight, hey, I'm in front. Hey, I really don't want to be there. So I run to the back. Uh, Kyrie follows me and takes a lot of damage in doing and has to flee. And then Zai starts running too. So we won that one. When you enter a team fight, always take a look and assess it. Hey, that guy is low life. Hey, I'm going to use my R. And I got myself a kill. Yeah. And also, make sure you pay attention to objectives. As Balak, you will do a lot of damage to towers, but don't forget to use your abilities to secure those kills. Your use of abilities will determine your success, even though you're a right-click champ. Speaking of right-clicking, this is how I build my Balak. I build Denizel's shoes, naturally. I also use the Blade of Randars and the Tempered Warblade for a massive crit combo. I buy the Quick Blade to give myself some extra attack speed. 
a serrated edge because it adds so much weapon damage and an assassin's dirk to give myself more armor penetration so i can even take out an off tank with this build it, once you become a little bit more comfortable with Balak, swap in a Blood Drinker for the Serrated Edge. The Spirit Vamp will allow you to substitute your E ability for the Serrated Edge's damage, though you still will have to toggle it on and off to conserve mana. Remember, your R ability does not add in the bonus damage from your E, so you're going to have to adjust your uh, estimations for that. That's it. So get out there and secure some kills, huh?